Hey guys, today we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to show you the differences between 1600, 1866, and 2133 megahertz RAM on the PC. So if you see other videos, you'll know that in gaming and in applications, it probably doesn't make a huge difference. So I'm going to show you in benchmarks using Passmark, uh, specifically the memory and CPU tests, what the differences are between each of the speeds. So the setup I have is a Core i5 Haswell refresh 4590 at 3.3 gigahertz, Team Elite Plus 8 gigabytes of RAM 1600 megahertz, and an MSI Z87 M gaming motherboard. Also, the graphics card I'm using is a Gigabyte AMD Radeon R9 270 overclocked, but that doesn't really make a difference in these tests. We're going to start with the Passmark memory test, and as you can see, database operations and thousands of operations per second go from 80.5 to 82.8 to 83.9. Uh, megabytes transferred per second for read cached is basically the same across the different speeds. Read uncached um, increases actually more dramatically going from 11,000 to 12,000 to almost 14,000. So that's a big difference. Write speed in megabytes transferred per second goes from 5,400 to 6,000 all the way up to 6,900. Available RAM doesn't depend on speed. Latency also doesn't depend on the speed of the RAM but on other factors which I haven't changed. But the um, megabytes transferred per second of the memory greatly increased from 11,870 to 13,640 all the way up to 15,600. So there's a great increase in uh, amount of data that can be transferred on the RAM. So what do these memory changes actually mean for the processor in terms of processing ability? So if we look overall, the CPU mark does increase with increasing memory speed. So if we look at integer math, it's roughly the same. If we look at floating point math, it is also roughly the same. If we look at prime numbers, we see an increase. But only when brought up to 1866 megahertz. At 2133 megahertz, there's not really a big difference after we already brought the speed up. Looking at the rest of the benchmark categories, we can see that in compression, encryption, physics, sorting, and single threaded, there is not really a big difference from increasing the RAM speed versus the processing ability. So if we look at it as a whole, what does overclocking the RAM or buying faster RAM actually mean for the system? We saw that we'll have faster read speeds, faster write speeds, more overall throughput, and quicker CPU math. Now whether or not this translates into a faster computer in terms of actual usage, it's hard to really know, but it doesn't hurt to have faster RAM. As you can see, there are quite big differences in terms of RAM capabilities. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please ask, and I would love to test them out or try them out. And as always, like, subscribe, and have fun.